A private investigator has teamed up with a psychic reader to analyze the actual bed used in the 2011 death of Rebecca Zahau in Coronado. As News 8's David Gofferson reports, the PI gained possession of the bed by pure chance. It's the same bed from the scene of Rebecca Zahau's death in Coronado nearly 10 years ago. Well, I call the death bed, the bed that Rebecca was tied to with the red rope. Private Eye Bill Garcia obtained the bed through a random meeting with a construction worker at a taco shop in Mission Hills. The man had done remodeling work at the Spreckles Mansion in Coronado, and the bed was given to his company. So when he said one of his workers had possession of the bed, to me, it was really exciting because I felt that there was something very important about that bed. It was February 2018. I intimately worked on this case for four and a half years. Garcia had been hired to investigate the death of Rebecca Zahau by insurance companies representing Dina Shacknai, the mother of the six-year-old boy, Max Shacknai, who died after taking a fall inside the same mansion. I took pictures of it before I collected it. I used gloves, I wrapped it in saran wrap completely, and I put it in my vehicle and took it to my home. What happened next? I found out about the bed from Bill Garcia. Requires an open mind. I opened up the bottom portion of this particular leg on the right side of the footbed where the red rope was and put my hands on it and almost immediately I connected with Rebecca. A psychic reading in San Carlos inside the private investigator's garage. She connected with me and told me immediately, yes, I was murdered. And then just a second later, Max Shack Knight appeared and he said, I want to be with Rebecca. I love her. Jackie Bensinger has worked with Bill Garcia for years on missing persons cases. I think Jackie is for real. I know she has trained and been taught by some of the best on the East Coast. During her reading of the bed, Bensinger says she saw how Rebecca Zahau was murdered. Rebecca was on the bed and there was a man standing above her and then he strangled her and she passed. The psychic also believes Max was murdered and she tried to connect with the boy during a second reading. When I connected with him, he was gone. All I picked up from him was just light. So he's moved on. Neither Bensinger nor Garcia can identify the alleged killers, and the private eye is worried the case may never be solved. I feel that these deaths will be overlooked, essentially because of wealth, power, and some people in law enforcement that don't want to see the truth come out. Now, as you can see behind me, the Spreckles Mansion currently is being remodeled. Private investigator Bill Garcia has recently retired, and he turned the bed frame over to the attorney representing the Zahau family. They are suing the sheriff's department currently to try and force the sheriff to turn over more information in the case. Of course, the sheriff's department has ruled Zahau's death a suicide. David Gottfriedson, News 8.